Hello and welcome to Hibis. I am Sujata. A family of harmful bacteria that causes diseases like TB and leprosy has become increasingly resistant to antibiotics. The alarming situation warrants novel strategies to control evolution of drug resistance in mycobacteria, says a study by Dr. Krishna Kurtkoti, a scientist and researcher at Rajiv Gandhi Center for Biotechnology. The study, published in Antimicrobacterial Agents and Chemotherapy, reveals that application of antibiotics result in a two-phase killing of bacteria, with a significant part of the po population being killed rapidly, while a smaller subpopulation of bacteria called persister endures the antibiotic and persist in the environment for extended periods. The persisters also get killed because they remain susceptible to antibiotics but the killing rate in, is much lower. Non-compliance with the duration of antibiotic therapy results in relapse of infection caused by the persisters. Recent reports also suggest that antibiotic persisters of mycobacteria develop resistance upon treatment with lethal doses of ciprofloxacin or rifamepsin. The research conducted in the laboratory of Dr. Krishna demonstrated the persister population of M. semigmatis generated by antibiotic treatment showed high levels of reactive oxygen species which consequently resulted in the rapid emergence of drug resistance to single and multi multiple antibiotics. Strategies to tackle drug resistance strains include the identification of new antibiotics or targeting the bacterial mechanisms that reduce the rate of evolution of resistance. The study tested the efficiency of suramin, a WHO approved drug used for treating trypanosomal that causes sleeping sickness and river blindness infections. It showed that a combination of suramin during antibiotic therapy reduced the emergence rate of drug resistance in M segmentis and M tuberculosis under the laboratory conditions. Since suramin is already an approved drug, its repurposing to control the emergence of drug resistance would increase the life expectancy of existing drugs, providing valuable time to develop and approve new antibiotics. Thank you for watching HiBiz.